diseases of bendy so now we'll see the list of uh, important diseases in bendy so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamala university so these are all the list of important diseases in bendy so the first one is powdery mildew which is caused by erysifer kikarosiarum next one is fusarium wilt which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species vas infectum cercospora leaf spot which is caused by cercospora abulmuski or cercospora a malayansis and the last one is yellow wind mosaic which is caused by bendy yellow wind mosaic virus so the first three diseases which is caused by a fungal pathogen and the final one yellow wind mosaic virus which is caused by a viral pathogens now we'll see in detail about one by one the first one is powdery mildew which is caused by erysifer kikarosiarum or erysifer chikarosiarum whatever you want to pronounce it so coming to the symptoms the major symptom is white color powdery growth can be seen on the surface of leaf if you don't know which surface you can simply mention it as a white color powdery growth appears on the surface of leaves but in uh, bendy the powdery mildew or powdery growth mainly seen on the upper surface of leaves and in rare cases we can also see on lower surface also but mainly powdery growth can be uh, seen on upper surface and we can also see on lower surface and here it is one of the uh, important disease uh, if you see here we can see here white color complete powdery growth uh, can be observed on upper surface as well as the lower surface also so coming to the management aspects so spraying of wettable sulfur 0.25 percent or spraying of dino cap or carthin that is 0.07 percent can be recommended here this is the old management practice i would, I would like to include the new management practices if you uh, whatever the crop it is that won't be a big issue if you uh, find out or if you observe the powdery mildew the first step that you have to take is spraying of water because the powder uh, powdery mildew before it get uh, attached right before it get inoculate i mean uh, get entry into the host tissues if it in initial stages if you spray water it will get away with uh, uh, water so that the first management practice is spraying of water solution if it is can't controlled even though if you sprayed water then the next step is spraying of one percent milk solution so make sure that uh, 1% milk solution means adding of 1 ml of uh, milk in 100 ml of water can gives you 1% concentration so that uh, adding i mean spraying of 1% uh, milk solution can be the next management practices if the next management practice that is spraying of milk also can't be uh, controlled then you can go for fungicide that is wettable sulfur or application of carotene group of fungicides can give you better control management or better management practices so the next one is fusarium wilt which is caused by Fusarium oxysporum pharma species vas infectum. So the name itself indicates wilting of leaves or wilting of plants can be seen. Yellowing of leaves initial, I mean uh, wilting of plants here we can see uh, mainly the typical symptom is wilting of uh, 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 you know plant in initial stages. Yellowing of leaves also can be observed. In later stages, wilting and you know uh, uh, rolling of leaves and you know. Uh, uh, rolling of leaves and the death of plants can be observed due to insufficient amount of water supply as i told you that um, uh, i think uh, hope uh, the, uh, whatever the fusarium wilt you can take it's mainly restrict the formation of what we called as a gutation so here the translocation of water from roots to shoots can be inhibited if, if there is some uh, gas bubbles or if there is an obstacles in the transportation of uh, a water passage so that the plant uh, can be wilted because the water can't transport from roots to shoots. So here in the severe cases the whole plant will uh, die and blackening of uh, stem also can be observed. But the major symptom is yellowing of leaves and uh, wilting of plants and as well as the uh, death of plants in uh, severe stages. So coming to the management aspects, so treat the seeds with a mancozy at the rate of 3 gram per kilogram of seeds and drenching with the copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.25% can be recommended. Coming to the third one, uh, Cercospora leaf spot which is caused by Cercospora abulmuski or Cercospora malayensis. Uh, in the Cercospora leaf spot, small spots or brown color spots uh, brown color irregular shaped small spots or sunken spots can appear on leaves in a severe stages what will happen the small spots coalizes and they can combine all the small small spots and look like to very big spots in a severe stages defoliation also can be observed in uh, if, if it is a i mean uh, uh, if if, if uh, the disease can occur in especially humid region so it will combine with the favorable environmental temperature the small spots coalizes and it will become big and in later stages yellowing of leaves also are rarely observed but the small spots uh, become very big spots and uh, shooty black irregular spots also can be uh, seen in uh, some cases but here small spots initially small spots appears the small spots coalesce and become a big big spots this is the characteristic symptom 
so they are coming to the management aspects uh, regular spraying with copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.25% or the application of mancozib 0.25% or capped on 0.1% can reduce the incidence of this disease so coming to the next one yellowwing mosaic which is caused by bendo yellowwing mosaic virus which the name itself indicates yellowing of leaves we can see here complete yellowing of leaves alternate green and yellowing initially alternate green and yellow patches can be seen in the entire leaf later convert into completely yellowing we can see here completely yellowing of leaves can be uh, seen and here uh, the size of leaves also can be reduced if you see here size of leaves also can be reduced here size of initially green color alternate green and yellow color spot, uh, patches spots sorry uh, uh, discoloration later completely out yellow in color some cases what will happen the size of the leaf also can be reduced and here uh, the fruit size and the fruit quality color also can be reduced due to this yellowing mosaic virus so coming to the management aspects uh, so uh, tap up the take up the control of uh, vector by using you know uh, nuvan and uh, dimercon uh, i think uh, these are all the uh, maybe fungi uh, sorry insecticide that is recommended and we can uh, uh, spray on 7 days and 15 days interval and we can also recommend co3 which is a moderately moderately resistant varieties and uh, parbony cranthi is which is also a moderately resistant variety that can be recommended for this uh, uh, virus and sowing of uh, uh, sowing the crop in during summer season and white fly activity during uh, uh, when the white fly activity is high the susceptible variety should be avoided so make sure that if the white fly in uh, uh, severity will be there so better to go uh, not to go with uh, uh, susceptible varieties and spraying of monocrotop monocrotopus at the rate of 1.5 ml per liter of water can be recommended for the control of vector and finally we can also apply chloropyrifos 2.5 ml uh, plus uh, a uh, neem oil at the rate of 2 ml per liter of water can be applied so coming to the questions related to ars or net we can uh, we may expect causal organisms i mean uh, uh, maybe uh, you know uh, symptoms of the particular uh, uh, diseases or something like that they might be asked so mostly we can uh, 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 we can expect from uh, asking of a causal organisms only